find the volume of a cube of site. When the call for schools in the Upper East region to participate in this year's regional qualifiers was made, Riaga Community Day School did not hesitate to make a representation. Despite offering only two programs, general arts and business at the school, their teachers were resolved to make a debut attempt at the quiz. Ruth Awusumbek and Gifty Abuk, both business students, were selected from among the 70 student population of the school to bear the torch. At the beginning, I tried to disagree with them because the area, I don't study anything of it. But it got to a point and I said, it's a trial. We have to try and gradually we'll continue on doing that and it will help the name of the school to reside. Many schools want this opportunity, but they couldn't. But if you are here and we had this opportunity and we're able to do something, I said it's a great opportunity for us. And I'm happy I represent our school. Our natural selection. The girls faced stiff competition from our SHTS, an experienced school, and Kusanaba SHS. The first two bouts of the contest proved tough as the girls only managed to secure two points. Ruth and Gifty, the last question in the round. F is equal to negative 15i plus 20j Newton. The five-member team traveled all the way from their small village in the Bouza North District to Bogatanga together with their two teachers. We, we, we came here with the help of uh, some st uh, staff colleagues who use motorbike to take the students to to San Damasina for them to also follow the bus that they are going to use and come to Bolga here. We don't have any school bus, we, we, nothing like any means for the school, there's nothing like that. Anything that we are going to do, we always have to go and borrow the sister school, maybe Sansek or San, uh, San Tolo Senior High or any other, maybe from Busy Senior High too. Yeah, we don't have any means of transport in the school. Negative Taking inspiration from the hours I of meandering their way, the girls say they were resolved to make G. history. At first, it was difficult for us because we know nothing about chemistry, physics, and biology. But it got to a point we said, so far as we are here, we cannot go home without nothing. So we make our effort to try to answer some questions. But some of them we couldn't, but we try, we push. So those we are able to answer, we answer those ones. And our focus was that how will we carry negatives to our place? It's too far. For, from traveling from that journey to here to carry negatives, was that thing that was boring us, but at the end we got something good. Natural selection. They managed to get 12 points at the end of the contest. False. Correct. Their quest and propensity to exit the competition with at least a better score captured the admiration of the audience that filled Nat Hall in Bogatanga to cheer them on. Do you think if you had some of your schoolmates cheering you on, you could have scored more than the 12 points you had? Yes, please. Because when they are there, you get even the kind of energy you are going to uh, get throughout, it will be different from we being here five years alone. Not only did they steal the audience, but quiz master Fifi Amaho is amazed by their grades. And if you consider the fact that they were in a contest with people who were science students, who, who, who virtually didn't um, show up, then you want to congratulate them for their effort. Even the courage to move upstage, sit with science students for a science and math quiz contest, I, I think is admirable. For Ruth, the experience gained was worth the risk. I've gained a lot as I've engaged myself with different kind of people. I've learned about new things. Now I'm not the same as I came. It's totally different. As I'll be going out, I'll be a different person altogether in doing things, even learning per se. I will be good, I will be motivated, I will be encouraged. The unwavering spirits of these girls affirm the adage that one can only improve when they try new things. For Joy News, my name is Emmanuel Bright Quaker.